In this episode, I'm shortening the stock Bronco column so it bolts up to the Crown Vic steering shaft. We'll cut, weld, test fit, and try not to screw it up. So a couple things, if you have a civilian Crown Vic, you're gonna have some security stuff. This is actually the security ring off. It used to be right here. And if the key's not in this ring, the ECU won't fire unless you get that tuned out of it. If you have a cop car or a taxi, any of those, you don't have this issue. If that key's not in there, it won't even fire. If you're dealing with a non-cop car and you've cut your car apart and you can't get it to stop. That's always the first thing I'd check after the inertia switch. And what I'm gonna do is just zip tie that thing in there, tuck it up under the dash and just let it live its best life. Undo the shifter linkage, it just pops on. All right safety switch type deal here see if this thing still starts so there's a swivel here and a knuckle I think I'm gonna take it apart here to utilize the swivel for now that wasn't so bad so yeah that's uh I guess that's a steering column believe it or not that puts it right here this whole thing may work Let's just throw this in here for a test fit and see what we got. Out there, that's way too long. Yeah, we need to take this column apart. Looks like it's just an old seal. Hopefully that sprayed right in my coffee. About that, it worked. Some kind of I guess. is shorten this I have to cut this the race of that bearing off it just separated so I want to keep all this because tilts cool this part I definitely have to keep and this part so the only way i think this is gonna work is if we got a couple things in play here this i want to keep as whole this is not as important uh what it's going into on the crown vic is a d-shaped thing with a bolt so i'm not i don't have to be concerned about the splines now i do have to shorten this about four inches so I wanna keep the shifter linkage and I wanna keep all this. I'm gonna to have to shorten this tube in the middle, weld it back together, shorten this in the middle, weld it back together, put all this back together. This will be way longer than this. Cut that off and then hand machine this so it fits in the Crown Vic. Mill this part so the bolt holds it in place. I don't even know how this goes in there. So I need a 15 inch steering column with the shifter abilities and enough slack on the shaft to get into the Crown Vic stuff without rubbing on where it shifts. That's a really short column. A little stubby. Now that 15 inches, does that include the knuckle? That did include the knuckle. It just looks really short. So if we're Cutting it here, that's the base of the spline. Give it an inch to get in there. Need at least this much of this. I'll put you here. Well, it's tight, but it's gonna work. It's gonna be the shortest tilt column in the history of tilt columns.
sides of this because like I said it's more of a dome at the top and that's where you put your bolt so that's basically what I'm going to cut out for now I'm going to call this the top where the bolt will go through I'll give you an idea of what's going on here try to I've shortened the mid shaft that shifts and I've shortened the external shaft, hand ground the Bronco uh, steering shaft down to the D shape that takes into the Crown Vic deal. I've ground a slot for the bolt to hold everything in there. It does tighten up, feels tight. Uh, I'm gonna do the sub assembly, get the shorty stubby shaft assembled and then we'll bolt it in. If you've ever built a steering column or hacked one like this, drop a comment. I'd really like to see how you did it. Then on one today, fellas and girls. Well, let's get this thing tacked in at least. All the things that don't need to catch on fire. One final check here. Yeah. This is your shifter linkage, and this is the cable tie down. So scavenge this and this, because I've got to implement that next door here. Ah, that's not going to work. Gonna get in there. All right, sorry I didn't film that. I feel like we're to a point in our relationship where I can cut that off and just weld it together backwards and work full. So that's what I did. Is mounted. You remember when I took the, the column apart, there's a bushing bearing that I had to uh, actually cut off of the shaft and there's nothing in there. So it only had the whole Bronco steering shaft only has the bearing in the front end on the top. So I think that's where the play is in this steering wheel because it's all in the, the Bronco side of it. The Crown Vic stuff down there isn't really, I mean, it's moving, but I'm that's what a normal one moves it's the plays there and this shaft's only this long now and there's no bushing or bearing i'm going to try to get the right bearing set up which would be the factory board part i may even just run up to the hardware store and see if i can get a bushing that'll fit it if that makes any sense all the bend so 
should drill the hole first, but whatever. power from the crown bit harness and then I just ran a ground uh, I haven't bolted ground up yet but we'll just put it there the car is charging so that's good so this is where we're gonna tap into the oil feed um, for the oil sending unit I want to keep it also because I'm not sure if uh, I know some of these have a shutdown if they lose oil pressure. They'll drop cylinders and run like crap to get you home, kind of a limp mode. So I'm going to do my best to keep both sensors in the unit. Quarter by quarter hex nipple and then a quarter T. So this is the, the formula. I don't know what combo it'll be if I leave it like this. I may put this here uh, now you're getting into some stuff where if you do throw a belt and it happens to come off here it could get that wire but it, that won't create an oil leak if I put that there uh, I may sever some stuff but that's a lot better than having this out here because I don't have a copper line for it it's just the cheap plastic stuff and that's what we're doing today so that's the way I'll put it together and if it leaks or has gives me issues because of the belt I'll deal with it then I may put a 90 or something on here to get this sensor in line this way but for now this should work, so I'm gonna tap on it and put it together. Under this freeze plug is a Allen head, this doodad. And I pulled it out, and I'm gonna put the temp sensor in there. Um, I think that would actually be better because that's gonna give me block heat. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that would be pre-thermostat even, so it's a true temp reading. So you got uh, ignition, battery, accessory, pretty straightforward. So what I'm gonna do is get my little handy bolt meter, and this is the factory Crown Vic ignition switch. I'm gonna put that meter on this in every position of the switch, and that'll tell me which wires are hot all the time, which wires are hot when the key's on accessory. I can figure out which ones are hot on just the on position, and then I can figure out the start circuit. I'll note those wires. It's not going to be that big a deal because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve wires. It's not that big a deal. Pin out the twelve wires, figure out which ones have voltage at what points. That'll tell me which ones to bolt on to the accessories, the ignition, and the battery. I get it. There's twelve wires. There's only three here. Uh, if it gets to a point where the accessories or whatnot are overloaded, I'll just wire this to a relay, let the relay power all that stuff. I don't think it's going to be that bad though, because at the end of the day, it's an ignition switch. So let's get it. Okay. I'm trying to film a video here. All right, so we know everything works. Everything in the wiring harness to the ignition switch labeled. I've got the labels on each wires that are hot when the key's on and in run, and then the wires that are only hot during the start circuit. I've got the wires labeled that go to the ignition to start. It's really not as complicated as it looks, like I said. Uh, the gray wires with the yellow stripe are typically the O2 sensors. Uh, that's just the heating process. That's why they're so big. They actually have their own relay. That's just knowing from doing these, knowing which ones. If you follow these two, they go into one. So that's really all you got to power. I'm gonna cut these, I'm gonna wire into the ignition switch and see if this thing will start still. I got the security key pinned in there. 
have a pinhole in the radiator that's why I'm having to put water in it. Fan still comes on. You're running now. Okay so I think I'm gonna call this done. Um, the gauge is wired, key switch is done, columns lined out. I'm really confident once I get that bearing that thing's money. Uh, I've got rocker panels coming for the rear. Alan's got me a grill, bumpers, I think some dash parts. I'll probably just do the pad on top of the dash. Just putting around the hill. The Crown Vic power in that Bronco wheelbase is going to be a pretty rad combo. Uh, it's even shorter than an F100, so it's going to be like Mario Kart, especially if I can find a power adder of some kind to put on there. Build more floor. Right now, if you get on the beans and gravel you better keep your head on a swivel because rocks come flying into the cab because there's not enough floor in the bed of it yet um, support the seats that i put in it today underneath i need to put some cross at least two solid frame to frame cross supports on the floor stuff uh, just a bunch of ants and uh, i'm probably not going to film all of it i may do like a, a revisit once it's done but i don't know we're just going to try it. i'm gonna have fun with it Sold the black truck, sold the 69. So we've got money to kind of spend on these things for a good year of filming. So hopefully by the time that year's over with, maybe this thing will be making some money enough where we can, it can actually fund the builds. Probably gonna sell the Bronco, probably gonna sell the wagon. Um, they're not in a state where I'd sell either one of them right now probably, but uh, yeah, if it's something you're interested in, hit me up. Um, the phone number's in my bio. I don't care if you have my phone number, call me, text me, whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to clean up the shop, go inside. It's hot, but super excited about it. Thanks.